So I want to use the sum of angles formula to figure out cosine of 90 degrees, which seems like a really stupid question. Okay. Really, I'm trying to verify that this silly sum of angles thing works the way I think it does. Cool that? Okay, so I want to think about cosine of 90 degrees as cosine of 30 degrees plus 60 degrees. And now I need to bust out the formula. Why are you raising your hands? Does it matter which one you put first? Good question. Does it matter which one I put first? No. 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 Not in either of the formulas. No. Yeah, you're multiplying, so it doesn't matter which order that's happening. Right? Okay, so what does the cosine formula say? Okay, so I think cosine of the sum of two things is the cosine of the first thing times the cosine of the second thing minus, minus sine, sine, of the sine of the first thing times the sine of the second thing. Okay, so plug pieces. So the first thing was 30. So I've got 30 degrees in the spots where I said first thing. And 60 goes in. To the second thing. To the other one. <laughs> okay? Now I'm sitting here, and I have to figure out what. What does it mean? Okay. What's cosine of 30 degrees? Yeah, I want to know what cosine of 30 degrees is. There are two places I could go for that. I could put a squiggly equals, right? And get some calculator approximations. Or I could. What? <laughs> the big 30, 60, 90 triangle maybe would be the, the go-to tool for this. You can figure it out if you memorize the whole unit circle, but I'm really not that bright. So I remember this. I start with a 60 degree triangle, yeah? Cut it in half, so now this is a 30 and a 90. If this was two, when I cut the bottom in half, what was I left with on this half of the bottom? One. One. And what's that make the other side? Square root of three. Square root of three. Perfect. Okay, so I need the cosine of 30 degrees. So what's the cosine of 30 degrees? The what? Square root of three. Okay. Yeah, so if I'm having trouble, I might so katoa myself off in the corner. I fully expect all of you to write this across the top of your exam. Totally fine. So, ka means I'm doing adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent to what? 30 degrees. 30 degrees. Okay, so I look at my picture. Adjacent to 30 degrees is square root of 3. And the hypotenuse on that triangle is 2. Cosine of 60 degrees is... Okay, so I went adjacent to the 60 degree angle. That's 1. And I divided by that hypotenuse. What am I doing between these two things? Multiply. Multiply. <laughs> then I need to subtract. Okay, what's the sine of 30? Negative square root of 2. I think that's opposite of 30. It's 1 divided by the hypotenuse. 1 half. And then the sine of 60 is square root of 3 over 2. And I'm wanting these together. Multiply. So all told here, I think I get the square root of 3 over 4. Or minus square root of 3 over 4 gives me 0. And then I'm looking to see if that makes sense. Does that make sense? 90 degrees is this one, yeah? And cosine is the x adjacent side, right? The x-axis side. So, yep, that's zero. Check. Good. Cool. So, if I wanted to label this, I would label this as cosine of 90 degrees is zero. Cool. You guys, if you're not done with the other one, try that for a second.